Hi everyone, here is our Olympian problem for today. Solve this system of equations. We have two equations here, a times the square root of a plus b times square root of b equals 3. And our equation 2 is a times square root of b plus b times square root of a is equal to 2. Find the values of a and b. Pause the video and solve this problem first. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's do some substitution. We let x be equal to the square root of a. And we let y be equal to the square root of b. With this as our substitution, equation 1 can now be written as x squared times x plus y squared times y equals 3. If we let x to be equal to square root of a, then a is equal to x squared. The same explanation for b. And then we just copied the substituted value for the square root of a, which is x, and the square root of b, which is y. This can be simplified as x cubed plus y cubed equals 3. And let's put this aside. We are going to go back to this equation later on. Let's go to our equation 2. Using the same substitution, equation 2 can now be written as x squared y plus y squared x equals 2. Let's call this as our equation 3, and this is our equation number 4. Let's work on equations 3 and 4 as we solve this problem. So we'll work on these two equations, and let's remember these original equations. And we are going to go back to this substitution later on. Let's divide equations 3 and 4. So divide these two equations. The result would be the numerator is x cubed plus y cubed. The denominator is x squared y plus y squared x. That is equal to 3 over 2. Then let's see what we can do with this resulting equation. x cubed plus y cubed can be factored as the quantity x plus y times the quantity x squared minus xy plus y squared. Then for the denominator, there is a common factor of xy. So factoring out xy, we have xy times the quantity x plus y in the denominator. That is equal to 3 halves. The quantity x plus y divided by the quantity x plus y is equal to 1. So these two factors are cancelled out. And so this is now the result. Then copy equals 3 halves. Then by cross multiplication, we can simplify this as 2 times the quantity x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 3 times xy and distribute 2 to this trinomial and then minus 2xy and positive 3xy are similar terms. We can subtract 3xy from both sides of the equation to arrive at 2x squared minus 5xy plus 2y squared equals 0. Now let's factor this last equation by grouping first by splitting minus 5xy into minus 4xy minus 1xy. All the rest are copied. There is a common factor here of 2x, and there is a common factor here also of y. So let's perform factoring by grouping. Then there is again another common factor, the quantity x minus 2y. So let's factor that out to arrive at this simplified factored form. From here, since the product is 0, each of these factors is equated to 0. So we now have x is equal to 2y, and y is equal to 2x. Now let's go back to the original equation. We have just found out that x is equal to 2y and y is equal to 2x. We can substitute this back to equations 3 and 4. So since y is equal to 2x, we can replace this y by 2x to arrive at this value now. Let's put these values aside first so we can work on this. We now have here one variable x, so we can solve for x in this equation. So 2 cubed is equal to 8, x cubed is x cubed. 1 x cubed plus 8 x cubed is 9 x cubed. Copy the rest. Divide by 9 both sides. And take the cube root of both sides to arrive at x is equal to 1 third raised to fractional exponent 1 third, which is the same as cube root. Now, since we know that y is equal to 2x, then... If the value of x is 1 third raised to 1 third, then y, which is equal to 2x, is now equal to 2 times this value, 1 third raised to 1 third. And so we now have the values for x and y based on equation number 1. From here, we can now solve for the values of a and b. So, we know that x is equal to square root of a, so we can replace this x by square root of a, copy the rest, and square both sides to solve for a. So we now have a is equal to 1 third raised to 2 over 3. And solving for b, we know that y is equal to square root of b. So we now have y equals square root of b. Copy the rest. Square both sides to arrive at b is equal to 
2 squared, which is 4, and 1 third raised to 1 third squared is 1 third raised to 2 third. So we now have the values for A and B based on equation 1. Now, let's take a look at this equation number 2. We know that x is equal to 2y, so substitute that value here. This x squared becomes the quantity 2y squared now, and this x becomes 2y because x is equal to 2y. Simplify this, we get 4y cubed plus 2y cubed equals 2. These are like terms, so we can add them together. And divide both sides by 6. And finally, take the cube root of both sides, and we now have y is equal to 1 third raised to 1 third for the value of y. Now, since x is equal to 2y, then... If the value of y is 1 third raised to 1 third, then x becomes 2 times that value. And so we now have x is equal to 2 times 1 third raised to 1 third. From here, we can now solve for the values of a and b, knowing that y is equal to square root of b. So we can now replace this by square root of b and copy the right side. And squaring both sides, we arrive at b is equal to the square of the right side, which is 1 third raised to 2 thirds. Similarly, we know that x is equal to the square root of a, and squaring both sides, we have a is equal to 2 squared, which is 4, 1 third raised to 1 third squared, which is equal to 1 third raised to 2 thirds. And we now have the values for a and b based on equation number 2. And so we now have these final results. The solution sets of this system of equations are, the first ordered pair is a sub 1 equals 1 third raised to 2 thirds, and b sub 1 equals 4 times 1 third raised to 2 thirds. And the second ordered pair of solution is a sub 2 equals 4 times 1 third raised to 2 thirds. And b equals 1 third raised to 2 thirds. And this problem is now solved. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.